Welcome to Android Dialogues, where we have bite-sized conversations with people from the Android community. I'm Chuki Chan, and today we are speaking with Pierre Vrico. Hello, Pierre. I actually you should call you Py if that's、yep. all right. Yeah.、Um, where you based? What do you do? And how do you get started on Android? So I'm based in SF. I'm an Android engineer at Square, and、uh, I started in、uh, 2009.、Uh, I was in an internship, and someone gave me an Android book and said, "Can you figure,、uh, you know, how to do something with this in like a week?" And、wow. that's how I started doing Android. It was it was pretty cool. They have a lot of confidence in you.、Uh, they were <laughs> kind of putting me to the test. Yeah. All right, and、yeah. you passed the test because you're still doing Android right now. I made a really bad app in a week. That was pretty great. Hey, I think that's a great way to start.、Yeah. Really jumping、yeah. to the deep end of the pool. Cool.、Um, so today I'm here because I read this blog post by Py called "Keeping the Daggers Sharp," which was great.、It、has a lot of great tips about dependency injection, best practices, and I was like nodding my head along until I get <laughs> to the point where he said singletons should be extremely rare, and my heart just dropped because、yep. I use singletons. Everywhere, because the only reason why I even use Dagger is for testing, and I wanted to have the same object shared between the test and the app. So I'm like, well, that means I need a singleton, right?、Um, so P Y is like,、mm, not necessarily. So I'm very happy that today we'll get、yeah. a chance to actually do some pair programming,、um, so he can show me. When is it appropriate? Why does he think the singleton should be extremely rare and things like that?、Um, so I already have. It's like a cooking show. I already have prepared a、uh, sample、easy. project,、uh, which actually it's.、Um, I have this project for a while when、um, Dagger two or Dagger launch. I forgot when was the launch, but I really wanted to see how I can use Dagger for testing. Um, so it's a fairly simple setup.、Uh, what I need in this app is it has a clock. So in the actual app, I wanted to show the current date. But in testing, I don't want it to be dependent on which day you run the test. So I want to provide a mock clock.、Um, and let's just step it through. And I think probably the best way to understand how a Dagger app works is from the component. I assume. Sure. So、yeah. let's get to the component. Which I'll clumsily navigate, even though I usually <laughs> just jump right in there.、Um, so I have a、uh, demo component,、uh, and the way this is is just an interface which allow you to inject into which I have one activity, the main activity, and it includes、uh, the clock module.、Um, and then I have the test.、Uh, well, actually, there are many things that override it. So I have the application component here. Um, which doesn't have a lot of really complex things. It's、uh, just the same thing as before, actually. <laughs> Interesting.、Um, but but it could be more. Right. So right now, what it does is it allows you to return the. You can see that in, inside that. I'll just highlight it. It has the application component, which extends the demo component. Oh, that, okay. Now I see why there's a lot of things because I have it as an inner class. So we're actually looking at the application class. Um, so right now it's empty,、um, and then I have the. I don't want this one. What is、If、this? I want to find it. There's an easy way. Ooh, let me show you. Yeah, I want to see the test component. And、uh, let's、yeah. actually go back to demo components、yeah. and click on Control H for a hierarchy,、Ooh. and then we can see. We're the learning、types. more than Danga today.、Uh, and so one of them is test component. Yeah, that's the one I want to show. A sibling to application component.、Um, And it can inject main activity test. Interesting.、Um, and then,、uh, and then it can.、Uh, it has a mock clock module、right. instead of having the the, the、exactly. clock module. Exactly. And if you go into the mock clock module, it provides. Hide this.、Yep. It provides a mockido clock so、yep. that in my test, which I am going to jump quickly.、Um, You can see that I have a Mokido call so that when I get now, which is normally actual time now in the test, it always returns this beautiful date in two thousand eight, which I believe is the launch day of Android. <laughs> I think I. I, when I put it in, I thought I want to put in some significant day,、um, so that you can you can see like later in this espresso test, it verified that our date、um, text view has the formatted text.、Yeah. Um, so if you are not doing it with a dependency injection situation, then you can't really verify because you don't know what day it is. Yep. So the part that I want to talk about is the singleton annotation, 
So if we go back to the mock clock module, you can see that in the provide clock function, I have the at provide annotation, which you need. I also have the singleton annotation because I thought I want the same object for both testing and app. Mm -hmm. And to be completely honest, I don't really know whether I need singleton, but I just thought, oh, I'll put it here for good measure because why not? I don't really need multiple clocks yeah. if I have multiple activities because the time is the same across the whole app. Um, so I don't think um, I put in singleton here necessarily given it too much thought. I know that for the test, I need singleton, so I thought, oh, maybe I also need it for the parent mo parent module. Mm -hmm. It's not really the parent module, it's the module in the app. Yeah. Um, so perhaps you can just tell me why you think singleton should be extremely rare, oh. and in this case, whether we should use it or not. Well, um, just to have a little bit of controversy, I think it's interesting. No, it's, <laughs> okay. It's a bit more than that. Uh, just kidding. Uh -huh. um, I think I think it's it's um, at the high level um, singletons are here because you're trying to synchronize access to state, okay. um, and you want to make sure that uh, if there's something that's like a counter that's responsible for holding a state, which is a count, mm. uh, make sure that everybody reaches into that same uh, counter and not like a different instance. Right. Um, and I, I think that uh, so when you're using a singleton, you're like retaining memory for that. Um, and it's essentially a global variable. It's basically, it's it's scoped to a component, so it's global to that component. Sure. Uh, and it's lazy, so it, it's not instantiated until you actually need it, but still it's it's there. And so there's this um, sort of like mental complexity whenever you see a singleton where you have to think, oh, what is the state that is being accessed here? And a lot of time we just add singleton everywhere because we're not thinking. So I, I wanted to <laughs> kind of say, <laughs> let's, let's think about this. And, uh -huh. um, there is an argument for um, a performance that has been made about this, and it's basically, do you prefer to keep all instances around all the time, or do you prefer to create new instances and garbage collect them all the time? Mm. I think there's some research and some stuff that can be done to get the best of both, and there's maybe sometimes a balance to find, but I think singletons should really be about that type of like... Uh, Something that has state. That's that's how I think about single. Something that has state that needs to and that has a that needs to be um, that has a centralized a centralized access. So to it sounds it. like the clock is not a, should not be a singleton because yeah, there's no it's state. Yeah, giving, it, giving you the, the time, right? Yeah. I mean, it's a, and so the thing the thing that's interesting. We should probably talk about the clock. The reason we have a clock when when we look at the implementation, it's, uh -huh. it's probably you might want to say, wait, why don't you just do new date time instead of using a clock, right? Mm -hmm. And so I think the reason you're doing that is because you want to be able in test to, as you said, use a different time. During um, testing. During testing. And mm -hmm. so, but the key thing here is if we go, let's go full screen, let's go to the test module. Uh, actually, let's look at the classes we just opened, mm -hmm. uh, the clock module. Um, oops, I didn't mean that one, the mock clock module. Um, the reason we're doing this is we're doing this as a singleton is because we want the clock to be injected where it's going to be used, and then we want to get access to that exact same, same clock, instance yeah. Yeah, uh, in the test, so that we can tell it that's your time. So that when I set up a test that return this, the app will actually be returning that time mm -hmm. rather than creating a new instance of a clock. And then you couldn't do and, anything, yeah. Okay, so so in this particular case, in the mock clock, we do want a singleton because it has that state of what time should I return. Yes, exactly, and, and I think you alluded to that. The first thing we can do, and everything should still work, is uh, if we go to, sorry, if we go to the clock module, mm -hmm. uh, we don't need a singleton here. And it turns out, so if, if you think about the, the two we we have what's called a component hierarchy here. So let's look at the demo component. Mm -hmm. We're opening that demo component, then we'll look at the hierarchy of this class. Uh, there's a bunch of subclasses, right? So oh, yeah. the, the, dagger, <laughs> the dagger uh, prefixed classes are generated. Mm -hmm. So we really have three, uh, three interfaces that we care about. And the application component has its own set of modules and configuration, and then the test component also has its own. And so they, at the end of the day, a component just needs to be complete, which means it needs to have a binding, like a clock, um, for everything that needs that binding. Uh, but the fact that they have slightly different configurations doesn't matter. So one can be a singleton, like a binding can be a singleton in one case and not a singleton oh. in another. So yeah, I yeah. might be putting singleton on because somehow in my head it's like inheritance. So it has to match 
right? Because yeah. I'm providing a clock, and the other component is also providing a clock, so they better do the mm -hmm. same thing. So let's try to delete. I just really want to know yeah. if I delete the uh, the word singleton in my app module, if the test is still going to be okay. So let's run this. I think we're running the app. Yes. Oh, we're running the app. Okay. Good point. So I need to actually run the test. I mean, we can also test manually and then run the test. Um, do both. Well, I guess it's actually good to also run the app because the yeah. app is also using is, the clock module just in case broken? somehow yeah. the app's broken. That was not my intention. In my head, I'm running the test, but you know, <laughs> happy, happy cool. accidents. Yeah.